Uh, right now I'm working on the heater core in the 1984 Fox body Mustang. Uh, should be, I think, just about the same for all the way up to 93s. But um, yeah, there's going to be some variation, of course. Anyways, uh, I'm looking right now at the heater cores themselves. Um, there, here's the original, which clearly has a leak on it. You can see the crust and the corrosion. So that's why I'm replacing it. And the new one, which I didn't see any that were quite like this um, on the website I bought it from. So I, yeah, I just kind of went with the cheap one. Um, it's a common brand, what, ADPI or I think that's what it is. So anyways, um, yeah, we got the new one. It is a little bit different in dimension, although it seems to be right about the same uh, width. The length of it though is a little bit different and um, but they do supply this padding stuff right here this adhesive uh, foam padding strip and so I'm just gonna wrap it around to try to fill up any gaps and then um, we'll get you a view of what it looks like inside the heater box. Here I am with the uh, new heater core about ready to put it in. I wrapped this strip of um, the adhesive foam like basically like three quarters of the way around or maybe a little more and then I took another piece and I just cut a notch here and a notch here and use that for this little section around the tubing and um, I assume <laughs> I'm not even quite sure if this is intended to fill the gaps or insulated or both but um yeah I figure I want to use this because I don't want any rattles um, yeah, that's definitely one thing. I don't want any noise coming from the heater box when I hit bumps every time. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that in. So, here we are um, at the heater box. And the tubes are shoved through the insulation foam on the firewall. So, hopefully you can see that. So, there's the insulation that it went through in the back. And there's the new heater core with the foam around it so yeah you can see we got the foam all the way around and you can see it's not quite as long there's still a gap here um, but I'm just shoving it uh, more forward so that the pipes go outside um, to the other side of the firewall and can reach their hoses as needed and then um, the width is a little bit more now because of the foam so what I'm planning to do is yeah just kind of squish it in um, it's gonna get kind of smashed in there and uh, the lid should hold it in real tight so I shouldn't have any rattling um, even though the length is not the same the opening there's actually the opening is not that long so I don't think it'll be a problem as far as like transferring the heat and whatnot but um, yeah, so we're gonna start putting it back together Squish that lid down on there and start putting some screws back in. So there's five screws, two in the front, one on this side, and two in the back. And they have an eight millimeter head on them. Don't forget these clips that hold the vacuum lines. The support clips. Jeez, the two screws I put in are the two that need the clips. There we go. So we're gonna put all those in and then we're gonna have to fit this box back up into its position where it's supposed to live. 